we're gonna start the craft challenge right now. We're gonna make awesome fall candles. So um, the challenge, just so you know, does not start until September 5th. So it goes the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th of September. So you have some uh, time to get your supplies together, go shopping. Um, these aren't expensive crafts. These are crafts that you can make in less than an hour. Um, again, the materials aren't expensive. Any of the sheet materials, I will definitely um, let you substitute out, like if you don't have the fleece or the milk at hand. But today we're making these fall candles and I have options for you. I love options. I'm not like a one size fits all kind of person. Totally go with whatever is easiest for you. So I'll explain these to you. So um, this one is my favorite and it's an actual apple and um, sheep milk candle, a milk candle handmade right in there. And then I stuff cinnamon sticks in there and it smells amazing. So obviously this one is perishable uh, because of the apple, but guess what? Sheeps like apples. So you can definitely, um, you know, cut the wax out. It's not toxic. It's a soy wax, uh, you know, take the cinnamon sticks out and feed them to your sheep. So this would be good for like dinner parties, like a kind of a one day, one evening kind of party. And I'll show you how to make this guy. Then you can also reuse the cinnamon sticks. This is sort of like the most expensive material in this craft. So you can always take the cinnamon sticks out and wash them in hot water to get the wax off and that'll work perfectly fine. So this is an acorn squash candle and I would recommend using a little bit smaller pumpkins and squashes for this one. Um, around this size would be super, super cute as little like votive candles. And the real pumpkins, like this acorn squash, uh, you can just pour the wax right into the um, squash after you cut it out. And also, good news, sheep like squash and pumpkins, so you can definitely feed these to your sheep. After, you know, just cut the wax out. Um, again, it's a non-toxic soy wax, so if there's a little bit in there, probably will not hurt them. Um, and then there's these fake pumpkins. So these are styrofoam pumpkins and um, I got them. I was intending to do a bunch of like little squashes, but I'm a little early with my fall crafting because I like to get a head start on this sort of thing. So I'm super prepared when fall ro rolls around and I have a great inventory of fall crafts that I can sell. Um, so my option here is get the fake squash and pumpkins and this is styrofoam. You don't want to put hot wax and styrofoam. I just don't think it's a good idea. So um, you'll be pouring them into votives. So you, get, you can get little votives for under a dollar um, at like Walmart or probably a 99 cent store. You can order them online. And those work great and super cute and you can reuse them over and over again, okay? So that's what we are doing today. Who's excited? I'm excited, okay. So first, hmm, which one do you want to make first? Why don't we do acorn squash first? So acorn squash, obviously, if you're using an acorn squash, it has a pointed bottom. It's not flat. So we are going to cut it flat so it doesn't roll away, right? If you can hear my dog uh, panting in the background, it's because she just went for her evening run. So sorry about that, that's, that's Coco. I'm sure you've seen a lot of her if you've been following me around on Facebook. So good, that lays flat. And then the cute thing about using the real um, pumpkins is that you get this cute like scalloped edge when you cut them. So I like cutting at a little bit of an angle So that you really see that cute edge. You can also, when you're doing the pumpkins and the squashes, use a, um, it's a spade um, drill attachment. 
that way you can drill directly into like a pumpkin. The acorn squash isn't too um, hard to cut, but definitely that's an option if you're into power tools. I don't know, it kind of freaks me out a little bit, so I guess I'd rather play with sharp knives than sharp power tools. There's that. Just gonna work on this a little bit more. If you cut too deep into the um, squash, you'll start getting into like the hollow part with the seeds. And that's totally okay, I'll show you what I do. to keep all the wax from going down in there. So see how it's hollowed out now? We don't really want that happening. So just cut the top off and then put it back in. And boy, are my sheep going to like the leftovers. Okay, so there's that. Has the cap in there. So there's that guy. And then we can do our apple next since we're here with our cutting board. Another yummy treat that my sheep are going to like once it's done. If you guys are just popping in right now, we are making our very first fall craft of 2017, and it is sheep milk candles three ways. So squash, apple, and then we're also going to do fake um, a fake pumpkin. So fake pumpkin, it's styrofoam, it's foam all the way through, it's not hollow. And um, what we can do is we'll take a votive. I just popped that stem off so that we get sort of a template for cutting. This is probably the hardest one to cut. You could probably use that spade attachment on your drill to do these pretty quick. So there's my little template there. It's about two inches, most votives are. And with this one, you wanna go straight down. And it can be a little messy with the styrofoam and the static. And um, so, you know, just be aware of that. If you have dogs that like eating weird things around, you know, you don't want styrofoam flying all over your house. And hey, if you're tuning in and you have questions, go ahead and pop them in the comments. I will see if I can get to them at the end here. And if I don't, I will definitely go back in and type my responses to you guys. And this is sort of the start of our five day challenge. The challenge doesn't actually start until September 5th. If you're just tuning in right now, it's absolutely free totally free. I'm going to be doing a craft project with you guys every day for five days live in the Facebook group DIY Sheep Crafts. You got to join that group to get the videos. Also post a link to sign up to get the emails. 
so I'll be emailing you a supply list. Pretty inexpensive supplies for all these crafts. And I can't tell you what the crafts are, I'm sorry. It's a secret until, until the challenge starts. Um, but it's a variety, so I'm trying to think of how I can tell you without telling you. But we're going to be using sheet milk for a couple of them and fiber for a couple of them. So um, locks and roving. Let's see if I can pop this guy out. So the votives I've already done, um, but I'll show you how to pour my sheet milk candles in the apple and the squash. and how I do my wick and everything like that to get it all nice and pretty. There we go. And these littler pumpkins you'll want to cut all the way through if you're using like a regular sort of two inch votive. The taller ones like this one you won't go all the way through the bottom. But the smaller ones, like the one we just did, you will. Just pop a votive in, and this will last forever. You can reuse the votive when you're um, done burning down your candle, because I'm going to show you how to make a sheet milk candle. So there's that guy, done. Just cleaning up my cutting board real quick because I don't want to be pouring my wax on my table. So here's these two guys. Here are my candle supplies. Close pins, chopstick if you need it, probably won't need it for this, and my cinnamon sticks. And my wax is too hard. So I have my wick. Um, you can use some wax that's starting to set to hold your wick down. your wax. Make sure you're on a level surface. And then you'll see that the wick is falling down. That's because it gets warm and it warms the wax on the wick. So then I use a clothespin to hold it um, up straight right in the middle. So this is my sheet milk candle. And I will definitely give you guys the recipe for that because there's another tutorial coming up in the five day challenge where you will get all of that information. Close pin right in the middle to hold the wick up and let it set. And then with the cinnamon sticks, you just push them down into the apples. The apple's pretty soft. The cinnamon sticks are hard, so you just push them down in there. And 
they smell so, so good. And then I'll save those last two cinnamon sticks for when the wax has cooled enough and I can take the clothespin out and I have room. And I'll stick the wax down in there, but essentially the acorn will look like this one and the apple will look like that one. Okay, thanks guys. So go to shepherdlikeagirl.com forward slash fall 2017, fall 2017, so you can sign up for the five day fall craft challenge. It's totally free. We're going to do five days live starting September 5th of fall crafts that have a sheep twist to them. So I'll see you guys there.